Hello, in this video I will talk about how to generate amplitude modulated wave in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. Let's clear the screen. Uh, for generating amplitude modulation, first we need to define our carrier wave. So for defining our carrier wave, first uh, we will define our time stamp. So we will create a vector of 1000 samples. And then we need to define the carrier frequency. Obviously, it should be higher. And then the amplitude of the carrier. In this case, we are taking a two. Uh, now we will define a carrier wave. Let see, cos two into pi f. Now we can check it. So this is our carrier wave. Now we will define uh, our input message signal. So we will start defining by the amplitude of the input message signal. And obviously, it should be uh, less than the amplitude of the carrier wave for under modulation case. And then. Uh, we will define the message signal frequency and it should be less than that of the uh, carrier wave frequency so our message signal it is now for amplitude modulation we will simply write its equation that was the AC plus the uh, master signal wave and that was the X into the carrier wave and Y divided by the amplitude of the carrier wave. And check. So this is our amplitude modulation wave which has been generated. We can also make the, uh, some sort of calculation. This was the uh, under modulation case. We can also do the same for over modulation. So first we will uh, plot this under modulation. So plot uh, that was 3, 1, 1, 1. And Plot in with So this is a under modulated AM signal. Now we will try to increase the amplitude of the massive signal wave from greater than that of the uh, carrier wave and let's see what happens. Uh, X equals to and then uh, the wave and then the plot in three comma and comma two plot in take it over modulated In this figure, two waveform has been shown. The first one shows the amplitude modulated wave is under modulation case. And in this case, the message signal is encoded in the amplitude of the carrier wave. And from this, the amplitude can, uh, or the message signal can be easily recovered back. But uh, in the case of the over modulation, it is clearly indicated that at these locations, the message signal has been distorted. So the information lying in the amplitude has been distorted. 
and, and the exact message signal can't be recovered back uh, from this case so it is verifying the same concept uh, like uh, the amplitude of uh, message signal should be less than that of the uh, <coughs> carrier wave so through this uh, method we can simulate uh, uh, AM modulation in uh, MATLAB very easily so that's it for this video thank you